Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, Craft With Me Wednesday. Guess what I got out here? The watercolors, yes. Look, a new set of watercolor paints. Oh my God, could you just die? Look at this, look at this. Look, you got a little thing here. I could be like a professional painter and you know, clip it through my finger there and just hold on to it. But no, that's not the way I paint. But I've already taken all the little half pans out of there, out of their paper. That was a, a lot of fun. Mickey, hello, hello. Listen, guys, if I haven't texted you or messaged you lately, I, this has been a terrible week and I'm just uh, wallowing, okay? Just, except for this. <laughs> I used my commission from my artist work on Crafts with Crashly to get a new set of paints. Lisa, Dawn, good morning, good morning, or good afternoon, good evening, Gail, good, hello, Marie, Mickey, 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 Sue's here, good, 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 Lady Dragon is here. Okay, so I realized after I took the paper off that I could swatch them with the color. <laughs> Not Now I don't know which color is which, but whatever. But this one came with a whole set of these metallic shimmery colors. It's called, uh, this is called Myling. That's the people that make this, Myling. You can get this on Amazon. So we're going to wet these, see what they look like. I've heard good things about this set of, I've never really used this kind of brush to paint with, but I suppose we could try it. I don't know. You gotta put paint in there or water. Water in there. Let's I don't know how this works. Let's see. Well that's cool. Hmm. That's pretty neat. Maybe we'll we'll try that. So we're trying to get, oh, I put my old set here. So I'm running out of some of the colors on the old set. So that's one of the excuses I use to buy a new set of paints. <laughs> you know, like I need an excuse, right? Oh my goodness. How's everybody tonight? So I sketched out a, a few things out of my Harry Potter book. Literally just sketched them. I've got an owl here. There you can see the owl and then a broomstick and I just sketched these by hand and I thought we'd play around with this stuff tonight while we're looking at these new colors there's a little pot okay so I got the brushes wet that I want to use how is everybody uh, did I move the wire out of the way I thought I did didn't I yeah I moved the wire out of the way Mickey Mickey's my producer. Move the wire. There's the wire right there. Anyway, yes, it is it is what it is. It's going to be there. It's there. So, oh my gosh, Knits for Sanity's here. Love your new watercolors. Yes. Oh my God, I just like the pan. I mean, this is so beautiful. That pink to purple. Anyway, so, of course, I want to use... a trying to see here I'm gonna use brown here pull up some brown that's pretty dark let's add some water in there because you want to start lighter can you all see what I'm doing I hope so there we go Not quite as dark as I wanted. Let's go back to the pan. This is not great watercolor paper that I'm using here. It's just okay.
I'm just going to get him make him entirely brown, I guess. We'll add some other colors in here in a little while. These are nice colors. I haven't had watercolors out in so long. <laughs> it's, a, it's a wonder I still know how to do this. So we're just going to kind of let that sit blend in for a few minutes. How's everybody tonight? Oh my goodness. Kat came in. Hello, Kat. And it says, I'm just so excited I made it to a live. I'm working on my great escape painting. I'm actually going to get through of it uh, to count for the event. There you go. Mickey says, I have one more section to go and I'm finished. Oh my gosh. I did get mine back out today. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have got like seven sections left. Hey, Jerry. Lisa's here. Please remember to give. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Yeah, don't forget to thumbs up. Did y'all see the show today? Look what I got in the mail. No. Oh, my God. I was so excited. My, um, my watercolor, you know, things, my papers. I'll show you my favorite one. This is one of my favorites. They're all my favorites. Like this one. Ah, oh, I just love this one with the vase. Look at all the flower detail in that. Boy, whoever painted that, she's uh, she's not bad. Let's see. What's the other favorite? This is my other favorite. This one here. Oh, my gosh. I just love the way that turned out. Anyway, i got to get in touch with the person that painted these, you know, and see if she'll teach me how to watercolor paint. So let's just let's play with this little brush here. You kind of like squeeze it and the water goes in. Okay, that's just weird. All right. <laughs> that's just weird. I painted out brown and now now what am I gonna do? I don't know. Let's just play with this metallic. Maybe we'll do his eyes in the metallic. Oh, that's lots of water there. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know if I like that or not. It, that's weird. Okay. I don't think I like this brush. <laughs> I don't, that's just weird. I wanted to try this brush here. Let's play with the pink, shall we? Just because we're playing. Let's play with this feather in the back, make it pink. Why not? We could put some pink in him. Why not? This is really pretty, this pink. like that. He's now a pink and brown owl. That's pretty cool. Let's come underneath here. And just kind of blend those two together. Pink and brown. Who would have thought, right? This has a like a metallic finish to it, so that's pretty cool looking. It, except for those creepy eyes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa, those eyes are weird. All right, we're going to put that over here to dry. Let me grab my other palette here. All right, we're just going to play with some flowers, I think. Why not? We're going to do that. I'm, I'm way off camera, aren't I? No, I'm not. Okay, let's just play around with some of the colors, see what we got here. I'm 
I'm just going to use that same color, I think. You guys know I get really quiet when I'm painting. Kat says, I have one section to go, but I'm not home to work on it for Great Escape. Oh, no. My volume is a little low because I wasn't talking into the microphone. Hi, Maritza. Yvonne. Yes, thank you for purchasing the art. I do appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. You guys, uh You've been very supportive, and I appreciate that. Let's um, let's do a green stem here. Maybe we could do some smaller leaves. What colors have we not used? Everything, right? <laughs> it's brand new. Crafting with Shay, nice to have you. Glad to see you. Everybody's saying hello. Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. Let's do some of this, I think. We're just going to go like that and just play around here. We need some more leaves, right? Some more leaves. Some more water is what we need. That is one dark leaf. Holy moly. Well, there's our flower. We've got, that owl looks weird. <laughs> he's got a little, uh, this Hogwarts, he's got a little Hogwarts letter there. I, I don't like the eyes on that one. So we're going to move on to the next. I have this broomstick that I will put the flower aside to let it dry a little bit. We can play with the broomstick. What color? Pick a color, any color. Nit says, my 11 year old just came by me and said, your flower's beautiful. Oh, that's very sweet. Now, I mean, broomsticks are typically darker browns or blacks or, but we could make it fun, make it a purple. See, Dawn, I read your mind, purple. Okay, let's see. We could try this one here. What's this one? Oh, that is more of a, that is not the color we want. <laughs> that is, where's the purple? Oh, here, here we go. 
Let's do purple. Uh, yeah, let's do purple. This is very pigmented, this new paint. I like this. I didn't expect it would be that dark, the purple. Wow. Let's uh, water it down a little bit here. Should we use what's this color? Ooh, that's interesting. Hmm, interesting. I like purple broomsticks. Pretty cool. So we can add some more detail into that once it dries a little bit. I'm good with flowers. I because I practiced a lot with the flowers. <laughs> a lot. I did what did I do? Flowers for a whole year before I did anything else? I want to put some um, definition into this, but I do need to wait till it dries a little bit. Let's go to, back to the flower. And then she took it back. She said she liked my flowers, and then she took it back. Oh my goodness. All right, let's um, get the purple out of that brush or go to another brush. Let's pick out another brush. this one. I need to just like keep the watercolors out for a few days and just keep practicing because I really do need to do some Halloween stuff here. All right, I think I have all the gunk out of this one. What did I want to do? Oh, I know what I want to do. I played with that for a half an hour. I'll take some orange in here and just kind of put this into the middle of the flower. That is so pretty. These I like these colors. They're really nice. Wow. You do like my flowers. You didn't mean to remove it. That was pretty funny, Dawn. <laughs> Give her a compliment and then delete the message. 
<laughs> That's funny. Wow, that looks good on camera. <laughs> Look how dark these leaves turned out. I'm really surprised. There's some gold here. I should play around with this gold. Let's do some more flowers. Let's see what we can... What do we got here? Oh, this is like a sagey green here. Ah, that stupid cord. Now let's put some fun colors in here. Oh my God, that pink is calling my name, but there's some other colors we haven't tried. What kind of flower do I wanna do? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Your kid is right, Mitz, you're funny. She's having a rough day, so a few minutes with mom in her office nook corner of the living room behind some bookshelves is what she needed. Okay. This is a great color. This, these paints are beautiful. The, look at the pigment on them. It's gorgeous. It looks more orangey on camera, but this is it's a beautiful pink. Beautiful shade of pink. I'm really going to play around with these. I like this. I wonder what the gold looks like. I think what I want to do, hmm. I don't know. playing around here. That's a lot of pink. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Very vibrant, isn't it? Wow. All right. When that dries, I'm going to go in with the gold and see what it looks like. And I don't like this, this uh, sage green that I love. It's really not very attractive. Let's go over it with a different green. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh gosh, that should be better, huh? Much better. How long has it been since I watercolor painted? It's been at least a month. So we're going to need some time to get my muscle memory back. <laughs> That's pretty. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll put that aside to dry. 
Let's go back with the broomstick. The broomstick. Oh, we get the gold in the broomstick. Why not? If it turns out. I don't know how vibrant the metallics are. They're usually real see-through, these metallics. Yeah, you can't hardly see it. Yeah, I don't think it's going to show up. It'll just give it like a um, shimmery color. There's not, you can't really see it too much. That looks kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that gold in there. Yeah, it's not showing up that great. What else do we have that we could use? Just a real dark, dark purple, maybe. And just do some definition there. There's a lot of pigment in this. <laughs> Holy moly. I like the gold, but it doesn't really show up very well. Interesting. Interesting. That looks pretty cool. Oh my goodness. I like that. Purple is a great color. How's the car hunting? Um, <laughs> oh my God. Do we have to talk about that? I'm done. I'm done car hunting for now. Um, yesterday did not go very well. And, uh, you know, I'm just not going to pay somebody 21% interest. That's ridiculous. It's like price gouging, you know, and I'm going to I'm going to take the money that I would pay for my car every month, including the insurance, put it in my savings account, put the um, the gap money that I got above what the vehicle, what I owed on the vehicle. And I put all that in my savings account. And when I have enough to buy a car that has a motor, um, <laughs> I, I was I think I mentioned it on the show today where I looked in Facebook marketplace and there was a BMW and I'm like, Ooh, I could buy a BMW outright, but it said no motor. <laughs> so I'd like, I need a motor. All right. I like this broom. That turned out pretty cool. So we're going to put that aside. I like that one. Now what else have I got? Oh, I got the Hogwarts sign. We could do that. Do we have like a brick color here? A brick color. What color is this? Uh, that is red, 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 isn't it? Oh my goodness. That is um, not really what I wanted. Maybe if we mix it with some brown, we'll have a brick color. Maybe not. <laughs> nope. Oh, there we go. That's an interesting color.
just going to wash that and then we'll detail it later. It's not the exact brick color that I wanted, but we'll put in some detail. It looks brick colored on camera, but <laughs> not in real life. <laughs> Most of your credit cards are 18 to 25 percent. Oh, Nitz thinks it's a good plan. Yes, our market will eventually cool and the perfect car will show up. Yeah, I mean, right now, if I wanted to get a car in my price range, which would be under 20, like, tw you know, between 16 and 20,000, I could afford if the interest rate weren't so doggone high. But then as you get towards the lower end of that, price range then you've got vehicles that are over a hundred thousand miles and what the salesman was explaining to me is that these are 2020s 21 and 2021s 2022 this is during covid when everybody drove nobody flew and so these cars look beautiful they're in great condition except the mileage is super super high because that's what people did during covid they just drove around um, instead of flying so I I just, I can't see buying a car with a hundred and some thousand miles on it. That you, that you um, put on it in two years. Who drives a hundred thousand miles in two years, three years? Not me, good God. Anyway, yeah, I know, I'm being silly. All right, what color do we want the sign to be? We want some dark, let's try the black. We'll just do this part of the sign in black. Yep. What else? Mm. Since when is with this cord today? It is just not cooperating. Stay out of the way. Oh, my cat is in the window. I wonder if she wants to come in. Not unless you put it in there yourself. Put the mileage myself, you mean? How did I get paint all over my... Look at this. I've got paint all over me. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how that happened. i got to clean that up but I, before I put my diamond painting back. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to put it back for a couple of days because I really need to work on the watercolors. I haven't put much time into it at all, and I need to. And I've been a little burned out on diamond painting. <laughs> I was I was just going gung ho for a while there. Um, let's make this say I don't know what color it is in the movie, the Hogwarts movie. This I don't know what color the sign is. Ooh, green. That's my girlfriend Tia's favorite color. We're gonna go with green. Where is my Tia? I don't know if she's going live tonight or not. Boy, that r move took its toll on her. It really did. Then at the same time, right after she moves in. Um, Tia, she moved to, she moved from Henderson to Las Vegas, and right after she moves in, they have all that flooding in the desert, and her place, she showed me pictures of her streets, they were flooded, which is crazy. This is a cool color green, isn't it? It's more like a green yellow. I like it, though. Go back in and do the lettering. The reason you're not seeing that watercolor effect is because this is really cheap paper. <laughs> so I'm just playing around here. How will I grocery shop? Well, they deliver. Just I'll just sign up for delivery. That's not a big deal. Plus, if I need a few things in between grocery shopping, Aldi's literally is two blocks down the street. I just have to, like, I would have to wait till this time of the night. And because they don't close till 8 o'clock. What is 730 now? So about 7 o'clock, I could just walk down to Aldi's and if I need milk or cream or whatever, you know, it's, they have a decent selection of pretty much everything at Aldi's. So I'm not 
so concerned about that. I'm more concerned about like prescriptions and a doctor's appointment, um, something like that. But uh, we'll just take Uber, you know. I'll just take the money out of that I have put aside from the car payment that I would have made every month and we'll take an Uber if we need to take an Uber. And if I'm going over to Michigan to visit friends, I'll just um, rent a car. Yeah. And I just said that because I have a lot of friends in Michigan, so. And I do want to head over there soon to visit. That looks pretty cool. It does, it does. All right, what do we want to do the lettering with? I really want that to be very dry when I go into the lettering. Let's see. This one should be okay. Oh, sorry about that, guys. That's my dryer. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> I'm drying clothes. And my son lives in town. He, you know, he picked me up from uh, the rental car place when I turned in the rental car. They wouldn't let me have it for any longer. So, Nits, for, you're in Michigan. See, I have another reason to go to Michigan. Wow, all these people live. In, I need to move to Michigan. <laughs> and when the snow comes, what about the snow? So I told you I could, I can order delivery. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll just order delivery. Move with us to Michigan. You will someday. Are you in Michigan too, Yvonne? <sighs> I'm going to Michigan. I didn't know everybody. <laughs> Absolutely all my friends live in Michigan. That's crazy. Yep. I got some close friends in Michigan. Okay, that is interesting. I like I like that sign the way it turned out. I, I got to do the lettering on it. So where are you guys in Michigan? Like where whereabouts? Because I right now I've got I, I've someone on the west air east area of Michigan and someone on the west area of Michigan that I'm gonna go visit. Walmart delivery delivers, and you do have Instacart in your area. No, I we have a store called Dylan's. It's a Kroger store. Kroger owns tons of grocery stores, so Dylan's delivers. You know, so I'm not I'm not really worried about it. Okay, Yvonne is south. How come you don't come to the retreat, Yvonne? <coughs> Sorry. There is so much wildfire fire smoke outside. They're telling people, don't even go outside. I'm not even going to walk the dogs tonight because it's so heavy, the the, the smoke F from Canadian wildfires in, in Wichita. That's crazy. All right. What do I want to do the lettering with? What are we not? Oh, that dark blue. I could use a dark blue. Yeah, this is pretty color. It's, um, I forget the name, Aqua, aquamarine? Yeah. And I don't need all of that water. No. I'm going to have to turn this around. I can't write sideways. <laughs>
I'm trying to think if I spelled this word right. <laughs> You're in the middle of the state. Grand, north of Grand Rapids, about 45 miles. Oh, okay. Well, one of my friends is in Grand Map Rapids. One is in Flint. So... Definitely. Oh, that looks cool. Hogwarts Express. Pretty cool. It, the letters start get, getting smaller <laughs> because I was running out of sign. <laughs> I need to find a more bricky color than this. This is more red than brick. But if you... Uh... Oh, hi, Jenny. Welcome. Yeah. So don't forget to hit that thumbs up, guys. The, all right, what's, what else do we have to... Oh, we got the kettle. We can do the kettle. I did a, a couple of kettles. I think this one probably is the better one. So let's just... Put that over there till it dries. I'm going to play around with the kettle. Oh, that is... This is some wicked pigment in this stuff. Man, oh man. <laughs> it is really pigmented. So what I, oh gosh, what do we want to do with the kettle? Hmm. Make it a really dark reddish. What's this color here? What is this color? That is pink. No, we don't need pink. What is this one here? That's pretty dark, but I'm going to have to add some stuff into it, I think. Hmm. Let's do this one here. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Get rid of some of that water. Oh, it's purple. Okay. It looked red when I was mixing it. This stuff is really heavy and vibrant. This must be why this paint was recommended. This is a cool color. I just want to go in the top parts with a lighter color there. Wow, <laughs> that is really pigmented. I didn't want it to be so bright, my goodness. Oh, now the water wants to disperse, of course. <laughs> okay. That's weird. That just ran all over the place, didn't it? Whoa. <laughs> all right. I don't like this. It's too dark. This is too dark. Nope. We're going to go with the other one. We're going to go back to my Winston Newton colors and get something that's not quite so pigmented. <laughs> 
those, although those are fun to play around with. I'm going to have to really play around with these this week. That just came out of its little spot. I literally had to take the paper off of each one of these little things. All right, let's, I'm going to, I've got the Winston Newton watercolors over here. So I've got another one. I did another pot here. Let's see if we can get it different. Color. Hmm. Maybe this one here. Yeah. I've really played with these paints a lot. I think what I'll do is just do some wet on wet here first. Just get it wet. Then come in with this. That is so much better. So this next few days, I'm going to practice doing some pumpkins, things like that for Halloween. This looks more like watercolor <laughs> than the other one did. Now we'll just do a dry here, up here. And we'll put in some detail when it dries. Anybody else in Michigan? Any, any more Michigan people? This pot looks so much better. Oh, I like this color though. Look at it. Now that it's drying, it's not looking so bad. It's weird. Very weird. I'm going to have to swatch them all out and see what they look like when they dry. Interesting. What would y'all like to see in a Halloween collection? Tell me what you'd like to see. And that's what I'll practice on. Let's see. We need some smoke. Let's, let's use some of this, I think. It's weird smoke. But it's magic, right? I love these metallics, although they are not very dark. That looks pretty. Can you see the, the metallic in that? No. Not. You can't. Okay. So when that dries, we'll do some more to it. 
So what is everybody working on tonight? Are you like diamond painting while you're watching? What? Did everybody leave? What happened? Did the bus, did the bus take off? Where did everybody go? Am I still live? Oh, you're here. Hi, Lisa. I don't know. All of a sudden, I, I had like a couple people watching. <laughs> I don't know what, where everybody. Okay, now I know the five people that are still here. Okay, Lisa's still here. T is still here. Dawn is still here. Jerry's still here. So why does it say there's only four people here? <laughs> that is so weird. You're knitting a sock tonight. See, that's my problem. I would knit one sock and never get to the second one. <laughs> That's <laughs> no buses, although I could really use a break and go somewhere. There you go. Go out and grab um, a frappe from McDonald's. Just get in the car and go. Tia, are you going live tonight? Tia said it's clicked off and I left out and returned. That's weird. So it did. There. Okay. That's. Yeah, it's showing that there's four people. So it, that's very weird. Because I know there's, like, I'm one of the four people. So I don't know why it would show that. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm wondering if my sister's going live. My sister's going with me when we go to Michigan. And we're going to go visit Michigan together. Right, Tia? ta 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 Tia. What other colors have I not used that I would... Oh, I haven't used the lemon yellow. Oh, that sounded like a car accident waiting to happen. Yes, going to have a ball. Oh, you're going live tonight? Yay! Something to look forward to while I'm sitting here watercolor painting. Yes, everyone has missed you. Lisa wants to come to Michigan, too. <laughs> Come on down to Michigan. Uh, Nit says, if you come to Michigan, I will meet you wherever you are. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, it's it's in the infancy of planning. But, uh, yes, there there is a planned, at least one, maybe two planned trips to Michigan. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, I got friends in Michigan. Friends in low places. Where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. I want to tour the states and meet all of you. Oh, uh, Mickey, you should do it. Rent a camper, like an RV. Get yourself in there. Put, make Dan drive you and just start touring the states. Mickey tours the states. I should do that. Just going to rent an RV and take off. How fun would that be? I'll pick up Tia. You know, although, Tia, that we got to make sure there's no more mud from the floods. You know, I saw the Burning Man footage. I don't, I don't do mud. <laughs> no. So is it me or did she click off again? What is going on with my live? That is so weird. Okay. I don't know what's going on with the live tonight. I'm gone through, I went through OBS instead of StreamYard, but. I don't think that that doesn't usually have any effect. Everybody, you can still see me. There's still a pot right here, a, a, a cauldron that I need to, it's not quite dry yet, that I need to finish up on. Before we go, because we'll have an hour till Tia's live, what color do I want to use on the cauldron? Oh, I'm going to use this red since I already have it out. We're going to use this red. I don't know if this is going to work. It's not dark enough, is it? Mm -mm. Let's pick that up and go darker. Let's go. Let's do black. Why not, right? It was meant to be black. It's still flooding? Really?
Oh, the mud hasn't gotten to... Well, did you see that Burning Man footage with all that mud out in the desert? Oh, my God. And those people were stranded there for days and days. They finally got out, but, man. This is nice. This is turning cute. The cauldron. Double, double toil and trouble. It's got to recede. Yes, Burning Man is here and it got hit so hard. Yeah, I, I, I thought of you. I really did. There's the cauldron. What are we going to cook in the cauldron? I like that one turned out good. The ones that are turning out good, I'm putting to uh, one side. I like that one. I think this one turned out. This one turned out halfway decent. I think I would want to do this in a different color. And I really like the broom. I don't know if you can see the gold in it yet. You can't really see the gold on the camera but I can see it and it looks kind of cool anyway that's the um, Harry Potter stuff for the evening thank you I thought the cauldron turned out pretty good this one not so great no but that's what happens when you do watercolor a lot of playing around here's my flowers again oh I forgot about my little owl <laughs> with the silly weird eyes Let's see if we can do something with those eyes. Oh, this poor owl. <laughs> He's really neglected. Yes, those eyes are creepy. Let's do um, let's do something to make them look less creepy, shall we? Oh, I don't know if that looks less creepy. <laughs> All right, let's do the envelope. The envelope, please. So you can see it. I've never mixed pink with brown, but it kind of works. Now let's just color in this letter. We got to do his beak. We're going to give him an orange beak. Ooh, that is like mud. Wow, no wonder. There's his orange beak. <laughs> Let's do something with his feet. Oh, wow. Look how well that black is really. <laughs> oh, my God. This black is crazy. Holy moly. That did not go well, did it? Let's just put a little seal here. There we go. There's the owl. <laughs> we haven't done the branch that he's sitting on. What color is this? Ooh. Oh, purple again. I thought it was going to be brown. It's not. We're going to go with it, aren't we? I'm not sure I like these paints. They sure are. I think they'll be good in small doses, these paints. So a, a purple branch, a pink and brown owl. <laughs> That's kind of weird. I'm still here, guys. I don't know what's going on. Some of you are watching, some of you are not. There's like, I don't know what's happening with the live. But um, anyway, I'm still here. But I'm going to sign off. It's 8.01. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to sit here, continue to play around with the watercolors. 
I hope I see you guys tomorrow on Crafting and Crime Daily. I actually have no idea what I'm doing for a show tomorrow because uh, it's been a really slow week in craft <laughs> crafting and crime. No court cases. I might have to uh, look up another true crime story for you. So have a good night, everybody. I will see you tomorrow on Crafting and Crime Daily. It might be a short show. It could be a long show. I don't know. We'll just have to see what I come up with. Love you all. Have a great night. Don't forget to tune in for Tia at 9 Central. And um, love you all. Bye.